the home of the Super Bowl 52 champions, Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, PA. Tonight, we've got a good NFC matchup on tap between the San Francisco 49ers and the Philadelphia Eagles. The veteran kicker, Robbie Gold, set to get us started. And off we go from Lincoln Financial Field. Pulls it in at the 13. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. Sanders to begin the drive and not much doing there maybe a yard up to the 23. Ladies and gentlemen that is a force of nature at the defensive tackle position yes he's as big as they come but still plenty agile he's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier. The run only got a yard here's second and nine. Throwing his hurts. He's got his target. That's Zach Pascal. He's at the 40, 20, 10, 5, touchdown, Philadelphia. Zach Pascal, 77 yards. And the Eagles need just two plays on their opening drive to take the early lead. Well, if they didn't get the wake-up call before the game, they got it right now. Two plays already in the end zone. I think of it in boxing terms because whether it's a big shot with your first one or a probing one, a little bit of a jab, the second one was the payoff. That was the big one that landed. One, two, end zone. After the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Returning from his end zone is Ray Ray McLeod. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Now Purdy. Eagle pressure too much this time. Down he goes. His get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. First carry of the game for Christian McCaffrey. And a nice run to get this up over the 20-yard line. He digs a part way out of the hole that they're in. It's an eight-yard gain, and it makes it third and 12. That was a good run, probably right on the edge of breaking into something really big. So the defensive guys right now are talking about, okay, what can we do to slow him down before he truly gets started? Throwing his lance on third down. And that's going to be incomplete. The contact there enough to jump that ball free. And it brings up fourth down. And that's exactly what defense is talking about. You've got to find ways to get off the field when you can, especially on third down. And third down defense going to be vital in this game. Able to knock that one away and force a fourth down. Lance and company going on fourth down. Taking a shot for Samuel. 
And this throw will be intercepted. And the Eagles are going to have it here just past the 25. Well, you think about it, though, that interception, great for his stats, but bad for field position. It was fourth down. Yeah, terrific observation. If there is going to be a silver lining, and this is what he'll plead when it comes time to watch it again, hey, it was just like a punt, right? So we end up taking possession of the ball. But you're exactly right about it. Should have slapped it down. Field position would be better for his offense. But how many times do you get a chance to make an interception that you turn it down? That's when your instinct kicks in and you take the football. In this case, a better decision would have been to knock the ball down. And he'll be taken down right around the 34 after a pickup of only a yard. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped him. Mark that down for a win in the defense's column. Hurts. Complete. Partner, we've got ourselves a ball game, and those guys on defense, they came to play. Slipped up on their first series, but they're definitely settling in now and letting it be known that points won't come so easy again. On fourth down, here's Brett Kern to punt the football away. Back deep, Ray Ray McLeod. And this will be taken at the 13. Call that an even 50 yards on the punt with seven on the return. And the Niners will go on offense first and 10. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive. In particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, and some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to look to hit a couple shorter passes and get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. He's got and he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. The previous play, they barely got back to the line of scrimmage. Now they pick up over 30 yards. On first down, this is McCaffrey. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. They'll have to deal with a second and 14 now after the loss. Off of play action, here's Lance. And this one is incomplete. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. Midfield, here's Lance. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Chauncey Gardner Johnson with a pick. And the Eagles are going to have the football here at their own 18 yard line. So that now two consecutive drives that have ended in interceptions. You wonder if he's trying to do a little too much out there. Oh, I like where you're going with that, that maybe he's pressing it a little bit, trying to be too fine with his throws, or maybe overestimating his arm. It could be a combination of all of those things. In any event, he's got to get it figured out and in a hurry. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. First and ten, it's Hurts. Left side here to Sanders. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. A well-executed 22-yard gain. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. 
That's caught by the big tight end, Dallas Goddard. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. Well, it certainly doesn't matter if it's been through the air like on this play or on the ground. I don't know what's going on with this defense. In a sense, they've been AWOL on this drive so far. Three plays, three first downs given up. They've got to find the answers, and they've got to find them quick. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. And they're going to get this down inside the 20. So many times in my career, I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. And he'll get this down only to the 18. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Another run here with Sanders. And he'll get this one down to about the 17. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. Well, he hasn't made much of an impact in the running game thus far. And after that last run, not much is going to change in that area. He hasn't been able to get anything going. And really, the offensive line not helping him much. On third down, they turn to Sanders. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. Miles Sanders from 17 yards out. And the Eagles have taken a two-touchdown lead now. Great call to hand that one off. And his running back did the rest. Someone read their keys correctly. And on the defensive side of the ball, they certainly did not because they really essentially were just going to swarm the quarterback. They kind of guessed themselves out of the play. And guess who benefited? The guy with the football. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. The football will come out to the 25 as McLeod will not return it. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. As the offense comes out here, Charles, remember they threw the interception last time out, but they were moving the football down the field. Looked like they were going to have a sustained drive that ended in points, but then the pick ensued. And because of that, there's no way you can call the last drive a success. Yes, there are things to build on because they found some play calls at work. Now they've got to build another drive and find a way to avoid the turnover the plague did on the last one. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. A give running left, it's McCaffrey. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It'll go as a first down for San Francisco on a pickup of 16. McCaffrey running right. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. And this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. So their task a little bit more difficult now. Second and 13 that they're walking up on. Now this one complete downfield on the left side. A big play there for the Niners. 41 yards. This is first and goal and a golden chance to get a score back here before halftime. And not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. Again, McCaffrey. And this time they were ready for him as they'll stop him right at the line of scrimmage. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. And now can they reverse the trend on third and goal with the last two plays having gone backwards. Really 
Here's Lance to throw it. And he hauls it in, in the end zone. Touchdown, San Francisco. Juwan Jennings, a five-yard touchdown. And the Niners are on the board here in the final minute of the first half. Gold with the extra point, and that'll make our score 14 to seven. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. Pulls it in at the 13. And able to get this out to the 25. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And with a 14-7 lead, they might just be happy to take this thing on into the tunnel. They'll fake the give to Sanders, and now Hurts. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. He's got a man complete. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Chris Watkins, 75 yards. And the Eagles will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Elliott now to have the extra point. It's good, and it is now 21-7. the touchdown. Here's Elliott on to kick it away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half. He'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. Ready, the 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. And that's caught inside the 35. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. So now then, the big play has them all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. And Lance going to throw. Incomplete. Clock stops with 10 seconds left. And I think they'd be well served to take that type of a physical approach against him the rest of the game. He's had his way so far. But on that last one, that worked quite well for the defense. Ready, Here's second and 10 now from the 29. And now a timeout defensively after that first down play. So they're going to make this offense sweat out half number one. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. The Lance now to throw. Touchdown, 49ers. Juwan Jennings in the final seconds of the first half. And the 49ers are able to cut into this lead in the final seconds of the first half. Gold able to tack on the extra point. And they're back with it, a touchdown at 21-14. So time enough for a kickoff here. Five seconds remaining in this first half. And a fair catch called for and made at the 12-yard line. They'll indeed start on the ground to run that clock. And he'll work this back to right around the line of scrimmage and surrender there. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL, and it's a presentation of EA Sports. And 
we welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gunn, getting set for quarter number three here. The 49ers going to have the football and trailing on the scoreboard as we get back underway on EA Sports. Here's McLeod from his end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. Well, Charles, in that first half, we saw a fair amount of offense on both sides of the football, and now the team trailing here will start with it in the third quarter. And we both know this coach pretty darn well, don't we? Because his game planning is always on point. And now that he's getting the ball to start the second half, how about all the offense that you already referenced in the first half? He'll put that all together and come out with something really strong, I believe, to get things going here in the third quarter. Well, they'll run it here on the jet sweep. They follow up the gain of two with a gain of one that time. But defensively, they had that one pretty well figured out. Yeah, and one of the things about this play, it can be even more effective when you run a lot of motion and there's plenty of times you don't hand it off. On play action, Lance. Yeah, this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. Good clean play. No flags coming out of the pocket of the officials. Turns into an incompletion, and that should get him off the field with a three and out. Lance to throw for it on fourth down. And this is caught. Jennings. The 20. Touchdown, 49ers! Juwan Jennings, 78 yards. And the Niners' decision to go for it pays off with six points. That certainly went against the traditional ways of playing football, but who cares? Look at the result. Big touchdown. They went for it on their own side of the 50. So there's conservative, there's aggressive. And it's really aggressive, which is what we just saw there. Tip of the cap to them. Gold with the extra point, and we are tied at 21. Nothing separating these two teams on the scoreboard as the kick's away here. Pulls it in at the 13. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. After that last touchdown we just saw, Charles, we got ourselves a brand new ball game all tied here in the third as they have their first possession of this second half. And Brandon, this drive is all about one word to me, and that's the word answer, because they're trying to answer the momentum the other offense picked up in tying the game, because not only if they score and they feel better about themselves, they'll retake the lead and maybe set the tone for the rest of the half, keeping them in the driver's seat. Throwing again on second down. Hurts, and that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. And those two just haven't been in sync thus far. They've done a nice job against him, but still, with his talent, you would expect them to have more completions to him in this game. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage, and just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. They're going on fourth down with Hurts. Airing it out deep for Smith. And that's caught inside the 35. Fourth down conversion plays, you usually think one, two, three yards, maybe ten. Not there. What a huge pickup as the sticks make a drastic shift forward. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Sanders. And he's out of bounds. Almost gets to the ten. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. And when you have success throwing the football, the old cliche becomes true. The playbook opens up wide. And these screen passes, they become even more difficult to stop. Check. 
On first and ten, it's Sanders. And he's brought down. 49 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. All right, I got to ask you, with these RPOs, essentially the quarterback has three options, right? So what's different from that versus the triple option that we see the service academies run at the college level? As a general rule, the triple option at the college level, most things are called outside of the quarterback faking it to the runner and then keeping it. And he's in. Touchdown, Eagles. Miles Sanders. His second touchdown of the night, and the Eagles have taken the lead. So he had the nice run to get him down there, was stopped just short of the goal line, but they go right back to him, CD, and he delivers to finish the drive off. A little extra determination there, don't you think, partner? You notice he didn't tap on his helmet and say, get me out after the run down to the end zone. He said, I almost got in. I'm going to get in on my own. I'm staying in, and he carries it across the goal line. Here's McLeod from his end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. They did what they had to do to start this third quarter, went down, got the touchdown to cut the lead, but the matching touchdown a moment ago, and we're right back where we started at halftime. Yeah, you're exactly right, Paul. They had a little bounce in their step after scoring that first touchdown, but the defense gave one up, and that's the problem right now. Can they get better play from their defense while they continue to score on offense? Hassan Reddick, his second sack of the night. Now that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense, so he kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Oh, he'll look downfield for Kittle. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. I'm sure this isn't a novel thought, but maybe run some simpler routes instead of trying to get it all back in one shot. Defense certainly appears to be ready for him. Try and get it back little by little instead of in big chunks. Here comes the 49ers punter now, as his first punt will come from inside his own end zone. That'll be put in the books as a 53-yard punt. And that will come the offense as they take over. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And the points, they have come fast and furious in this quarter. You really don't want to be on the defensive side of the ball right now, do you? Because you're either thinking, my replacement may get an opportunity. <laughs> Your head better be on a swivel. Totally. Or maybe I just need to get out of the game for a while because I just can't slow these guys down. They've got to figure out a way to disrupt these offenses. And typically, one guy makes a big play, and that can help change things. They'll be looking for disruption on both sides right now. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Right back to Sanders on first down. He takes this for about six down inside the 40. Now I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. Another run with Sanders. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. 79 yards on the ground for him now as he's gotten better, really, as the night's going on. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, 
He's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. I'm sure that that's going to be the formula. Just keep the ball on the ground. Keep that clock moving. And when you have the lead this late in the game, above all, stay in bounds. Yes, take care of the football. Yes, gain yardage. But stay in bounds and let that clock tick. Hurts a handoff to Sanders. And some space here. And he's able to work his way down inside the red zone to the 19-yard line. It's an Eagles first down on a gain of 11. A give running left. It's Sanders. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. 